Good morning, beautiful people from Siargao in the Philippines. We have been blessed with a ridiculously beautiful day today. I've rented a scooter. We're gonna go check out some of the spots around the island. The island's gorgeous, it's famous for being gorgeous, and there's definitely more to it than just surfing. Can't wait to go check it out. Same setup as the last vlog with a super cute <clears throat> purple helmet. Uh, we'll be recording. And there's the steed right here. We're gonna take this guy around, see how far we can get. So let's get going. We're driving now through General Luna. This is Tourist Road, funny name. Uh, we're gonna head up to the number one surf spot in Philippines. It's called Cloud9. We're not gonna spend too much time on this and Cloud9 because I did that in the last vlog. So check that out if you want a little more in-depth look at this town and Cloud9, but we will drive by. And then from there, we'll hopefully get out of town and be on island life, island vibe. It's drizzling, <laughs> but I don't think it's gonna last very long. This is Cloud 9, as the sign says. And uh, this is again the main area where people go surfing. In the last vlog, check it out. You can see all about it. Beautiful place. But in today's vlog, we're gonna continue on to new uncharted territories. I wanna see the rest of this island, my friends. Back on this super cool bridge. What a great view, huh? So in the last vlog, this is as far as we made it. And then we turned back. And today, man, I cannot wait to go further. Wow, look at all these trees ahead. I think they're coconut trees. Unreal. So cool. Time to slow down, 20 kilometers per hour. I think we've hit a small village here. <laughs> Super tiny. And we continue on. Coming up on another village. This one's a bit more built up. Today happens to be a Sunday, Sunday morning. I'm not sure if it's different on different days. Oh, they got a little harbor, I guess you'd call it. Very nice. Ah, it's a nice house here. People hanging out, no crowds at all. Wow, how pretty is this? Oh my God. Look at this place, wow. There's a family up ahead chilling. Hello. <laughs> And from, from the map, it looks like we're gonna be passing through a lot of coconut trees and I can't wait. Oh. I wonder what they're drying here on the ground. I've seen quite a few of these. See what I mean? They have, uh, they're doing a lot of this. It looks like wheat to me, I, but I'm far from an expert in this. <laughs> uh, what a chill place. Cute little coffee shop. Gorgeous day, oh my God. Look at how colorful these buildings are. We got green, blue, well, silver. I suppose that's unpainted. Man, it's so nice to be here. Okay, I had heard about this. We're kind of like in the middle of the island, but there's this wake park and I didn't realize we were gonna pass by it today, but it looks like we are. Maybe we can take a quick look. The road is not as bad as this sounds, just the scooter has a funny suspension. <laughs> it sounds like it's falling apart, but it's not. It's fine. Wow, this is cool. <laughs> I think someone's out there. Oh, look at this cute dog. Where are you going? <laughs> That's pretty darn cool. Something else you can do here on Shargao. You can do one zip line for 50 pesos. That's a dollar. That's crazy. 
but then everything else is like 1200 for an hour 1700 for an hour and you can share it with people no time for it today but that's pretty cool we're gonna head back on out check out the island we're back on the road and speaking of which look at this i was not expecting such a well-paved road on this island Ooh, it's windy oh my god <laughs> Okay, we have now come to our first touristic spot. Look at this view. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> coconut trees as far as the eye can see. This is literally called coconut tree viewpoint. Oh my god. amazing wow but man it's so hot in the sun we continue to the next stop this is interesting i wonder if this is still part of the marshes but these uh homes are built on stilts they live above the uh water hello <laughs> oh yeah look at this side wow oh these gotta be the marshes i mean come on what else could this be Hold on, I gotta look this up. I'm not finding any info on Google about it, but the clouds sure look cool. And yeah, these gotta be either marshes or mangroves. So I absolutely love the vibe too. <laughs> Blue skies, pretty clouds. There's four people on that scooter. I thought it was just two. <laughs> Welcome to Magpul Punko Beach. All right. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. Ah. Okay. How much? Sixty-five. Sixty-five pesos. Okay. Ooh. What a gorgeous entrance! Oh my God. <laughs> this is so freaking pretty. How far can I drive? No way, yeah. okay, I'll be back one moment. I see even this one. Oh my god. Hello. How much is parking? 20 spaces. Okay, one moment, please. I'm just wondering how far I can drive around. 20, 20. I guess this is finally the end. <laughs> Mangpo Ponko rock pools are out there in the distance. And this is, I guess, the beach. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at the color of this water. Sweet Lord in heaven. And yeah, the pools over there are looking pretty cool too. So here's, uh, here's what it looks like when you get over here. So once you pay for your entry fee and low parking fee, this is it. Continues a little bit down that way. The beach quite a bit down that way. And on the other side it is it is beautiful they did a great job and not a single piece of trash yeah this is uh this is paradise you can enjoy i think wow check out that formation in the middle there so nice all right i'm gonna walk around take a look a bit but so far so good
we've got restaurants, beachside restaurants, barbecue. They have a shower apparently up ahead. This is way cooler than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be like this rock pool thing. So, I bought these rock pools. At low tide, you're able to reach them and it's safe to where you don't get dragged out by the high tide. Uh, I was told that the low tide today was at 10 a.m. and it's way in the afternoon now, so it's far away from that. I see people in the water though. I'm not sure if those are the rock pools. So we're gonna get closer and figure it out. But yeah, that's what this is famous for, the rock pools. I didn't realize it was gonna be a heavenly beach in addition to the rock pools. Wow. Look at all these uh, restaurants behind me. And how about this for paradise? Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not hating it. I love the Philippines. <laughs> my God, it's gorgeous making our way towards the rock poles they've actually built this uh, walkway some steps uh, i think this is the way we go we're going up i'm not sure why but hopefully we'll go back down to the pools pretty neat i'm not sure if this is the rock pool these aren't the pool you know I think the yeah, pool. They, they, yeah, they need the pool. This, this, this is the pool. Okay. All right. I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be low tide for this, but maybe it is low tide. Plan B for me is to cool off, and uh, that worked. <laughs> so I actually put my stuff on the beach over there and. Uh, jumped in here you can't go very deep uh, there's a lot of rocks here so i would wear like water shoes or footwear but you can't i don't think it's a good idea to walk on here barefoot but the water is not even almost not even cold enough but no it feels great there's a breeze <sighs> how beautiful was that oh my god but there's so much left to see it's already like 2.30 in the afternoon, so we gotta move on out. <laughs> so windy. <laughs> right. Somewhere here we're supposed to make a right turn. I'm gonna check the map and see if this is it. Yes, it was. And we take a right turn. And moments later, we arrive at Pacifico Beach. Uh, tourist access road. Wow, it's a huge beach actually. It doesn't seem very busy. I'm not sure why. It seemed very quiet. A lot of restaurants on this side. Another looks like even more there. I am puzzled why there didn't seem to be that many people here. I'm gonna vote that we skip this beach for now. There's more beaches ahead. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. But if it doesn't look like it's happening, let's skip ahead. We have a lot more to see. Let's go. It's more of a drive-by for Pacifico Beach today. <laughs> we're headed to the north end of the island. I think we're close. There's a beach there called Alegria. Just past the Welcome to Alegria sign. There's the sign, Alegria Beach. Turn right. Let's see what it looks like. One pro in Alegria Beach is there's no parking fee or entrance. So far, so good. Uh, it seems to extend quite a bit in both directions. It's not super crowded, but it's really big, so that kind of makes 
makes sense why it's not congested in one spot. People are everywhere. It's pretty neat. Proper beach. The water looks good. Hmm, the clouds look amazing. That's a beautiful beach, I gotta say. I uh, give this one a thumbs up. Although it's almost four o'clock and I'm literally on the other side of the island from where I'm staying. So can't spend too much time here. Gotta get back on the bike and make our way back. But we're gonna try to take a different route back on the west coast. It's supposed to be equally or possibly more beautiful. We are officially on the west side of the island. And on this side, there's a uh, Tak Tak Fall. Do we park here? Yes, you can park and you can walk. If you want to go bring the motorbike, you pay 20 pesos. So if you ride the bike in, it's uh, 20 more pesos and 50 for the entrance. So total price was 70. Tuck tuck ball. As we are short on time, fortunately, no effort. <laughs> Park the scooter right there and here's the waterfall. Um, you don't have to hike or anything, you can just look at it. Um, kids playing in the pool. I guess adults can play in the pool as well. It's very nice. Back on the road, we are 65 kilometers from home. And uh, yeah, not that much sunlight left. <laughs> so we're gonna have to make a beeline home, my friends. Meanwhile, we'll enjoy the beautiful coastal views. This was called San Benito. Very cute, very colorful. Hello. <laughs> It's 6 p.m. Look at this sky. That's the moon. We've got some pink clouds going on from the sunset. Made it here before it got dark. What an amazing day. So the west coast was a beautiful ride, but we only got to see the ocean once in a while. However, we passed a bunch of villages, cute, cute towns really. The dogs are getting excited. But yeah, amazing ride, a lot to see. See, I knew there was gonna be more to Shargao than just surfing and drinking. We got to see so much of the island. I actually went all the way around. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this day. If you like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for a lot more videos from the Philippines. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys on the next one.